Hey, what's going on guys? It's Frolix here bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be telling you how Rockstar Games killed GTA 5 and what they did, in my personal opinion, to make this game terrible and ruin it for a lot of people. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, let's get it started. So, if you guys have been playing GTA 5 since day one, props to you, because that's when it was good. So, back in the day when GTA, in my opinion, was really fun, is when there was no, no gun running, none of this crazy crap that you have to do to make money. Back then, they released DLCs with just a couple of cars, a couple of new vehicles, new clothing items, and that's when GTA was really fun. Also, back then, the amount of ways you could make money. Do you guys remember playing Criminal Records, going, doing a couple laps, making a bunch of money, getting a bunch of RP, leveling up super fast? Do you guys remember Rooftop Rumble, grinding on that, making a bunch of money in like 10 minutes, like 30k and a bunch of RP? Do you guys remember Blow Up 2, sitting in certain spots with tanks, getting 10,000 RP for winning that, and all you have to do is deliver a Banshee? which is awesome, and that's back when GTA 5 was good, when you could make money very, very quickly. It wasn't really hacking the game, it wasn't glitching the game or anything. You were just enjoying it, playing the missions, and doing all that normal stuff that you're supposed to do in GTA 5. And back then, that's when there was no griefing, that's when everything was still reasonably priced, they didn't release things that were pretty much, you need to have money now. In the, in the game right now, you need to have money. If you don't have money, you cannot do anything. And the worst part is, making money. To make money in this game, you need to have money before that so you can buy the stuff that you need to make money, which I don't like now as well. Also, back in the day when GTA 5 was really awesome, there were, of course, a lot more glitches and a lot more like crazy stuff that you could do in the game. <clears throat> of course, nowadays, there's like no glitches that you can do. They pretty much took everything out, which kind of sucks, even though I can see why, because glitching, of course, they don't like that, and it's a cheap way to get money, but you know what? It was a lot better back then. I, I really liked it back then. Also, nowadays, every DLC. When was the last time you saw a DLC they released with just cars, some simple stuff, and the cars were actually reasonably priced? Do you guys remember? Let's see, let's, let's go to the internet right now in GTA 5 and look at the cars that they're releasing right now. So, a Candace Free Crawler, $500,000. This car, 1.2 million, 500,000, 900,000, 800,000, 2.5 million. All these cars are so expensive and you need to have so much money. Do you guys remember the Adder? That was the fastest car in the game back then. <clears throat> and it was a million dollars. A million dollars was the target. That was a hard amount of money to get. If you had an adder in this game, you were a pimp. That's what you drove if you were had like a lot of money, honestly. Even the Z-Type. You had, you had the Z-Type, you're a baller. Nowadays, you can have any of these vehicles. It won't matter at all because everyone already has them and like everyone just has so much money. But that's from glitching and modded accounts and stuff like that. So if you play legit, you're good. Props to you guys. Um, but now you guys can see all these cars. Look at how expensive they are. That is just way too crazy. You guys see any of the old DLCs here? No, because none of those cars were actually overpriced, and they're actually really nice cars. You guys can see all of these, all of the most expensive cars. So let's go up here to the price, and let's change this to, to the highest. <clears throat> all of these DLCs were released in like the past year, year and a half maybe, and they're all so freaking expensive. Who's gonna pay 2.25 million for a motorcycle? Like 2.25 million again for this. Like all these cars, so expensive. Ill-gotten gains, I'm pretty sure was the first update they had that actually made you have to do stuff. I'm pretty sure that was the VIP work one and that's when everything started to go downhill after that pretty much. That's the way I see it. You guys see before, um, let's see if we can find any cars here that are actually from old DLCs. Like even this one, the Roosevelt Valor, it's not the real Roosevelt, it's the Roosevelt Valor, so of course it's more expensive. Even this, come on, 900K for a bike. You go back here, the Z-Type, 950K, wasn't from a DLC or anything like that. Back then, that's when it was really fun. We keep scrolling down, you can see, still no cars that you can really see, but High Life, there it is. The Grody Singer, 850K, that's when I really liked this game, that's when the game was fun. But Rockstar recently has been adding so much stuff into this game, and it's honestly, in my opinion, just killed the game and it's making things so much worse. That's one main reason a lot of my friends and I have stopped playing this game, just because they don't have any money. The ways they used to make money and enjoy the game are all gone now, and the only way you can make money is if you actually have money in the game. Like, what I mean by that is you have to buy stuff, like, you have to buy clubhouses, you have to buy CEO offices, you have to buy all this kind of stuff to make money. Honestly, the only real way that you can make money now is from doing, like, double money in RP events. That's, that's like, it. That, and still, even if you get a lot of money, to do anything. If you get 100k from doing one thing, it took, like, 20 minutes, you'll have to do 10. 10 of those missions to get a million dollars, which still a million dollars can't really buy you too much in this game anymore. And honestly, I think that's what really ruined GTA V, um, and that's what Rockstar did to kill it, to be completely honest. Now, of course, there's a couple other things that they did to just make this game a lot worse. Um, just like all the recent stuff they've added, like 
in terms of free mode. You guys remember before when they didn't have any vehicles that were like absolutely crazy? Remember before the homing launcher came out? Now I'm not saying the homing launcher is bad, of course a lot of people use it. And now at least planes and stuff have armor. Don't tell me my car is going to sink, I swear to god. Okay, this car is gone. Anyways, back then that's when a lot of griefing wasn't really possible and free mode was just a really fun time. Like I remember being in free mode, there used to be people in game chat wanting to just hang out, go run around and do stupid shit. That's what I like to do. That's that's the fun GTA. Now, you see a guy in free mode, most likely their mental state is going to be like a tomato. It's going to be super, super red and they are going to kill you. There's been multiple times where I've gone up to a person, honked my horn, tried to get them to go for a ride, show them some cool stuff because I have a lot of money and I know a lot of people like looking at the cool stuff that I have, like going for a ride in a $10 million jet or like going on yachts, doing all this cool crap. Like I, I have everything. So like a lot of people really like to see that back then. Nowadays, they see a car pull up next to them, instantly pulls out a rocket, blows up the car, doesn't even care or just shoots me because they like to save that 20k instead of blowing up the car. But like, honestly, back then, griefing wasn't even that big of a deal. Nowadays, you have insurgents. You have these new cars that they just released that have freaking whatever it's called, like this thing that just rotates and can destroy a car in a matter of seconds in the front. Even like the ramp buggy, ramps cars out of everywhere. Everything in free mode now is just pretty much griefing. You see someone, like, let's see. Let, let's, just, let's just prove this right here. This guy right here, if I turn around, okay, no, he's driving away. If I can go and find someone, I will put my money on it that they will kill me. Let's see. So we drove over to this guy. This guy's mental state isn't that high. Hopefully he doesn't kill me, but Rockstar really just screwed up there when they stopped releasing fun DLCs that don't require a lot of money. Like, let's see. This guy rams into me. Is he gonna kill me? Nope. See, these are the kind of guys that are really nice. They don't kill you. They just hop in the car. That's what GTA was like before. Nowadays, you can't really find that too often. This guy, you know what? This guy's pretty cool. What's your name? You're, you're pretty dope. Nowadays, like I said, GTA 5 is just about griefing and for Rockstar to make money. It would be nice if we can go back to the time when TLCs were reasonably priced and, you know, we don't have to spend millions of dollars on stupid things that don't really help too much in the game. <clears throat> um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm just going off here about why Rockstar ruined it and how they did it. Honestly, I wish we can go back to the time when Rockstar still had DLCs to release that were fun and just cool DLCs. Like, if you guys know what I mean, like High Life and um, what else did they release back then? I can't even remember them all because there's been so many new ones. Like, all of this has taken up my space on in my brain. Um, but yeah, if you guys agree with me and you wish the old GTA would come back, leave a like on the video, comment it down below what you miss about old GTA 5 and what you don't like about it now. Because there's so many things that I hate about it now, I can't even think of them all. Like... There's just so much. I wish, I really, really wish that we can go back in time and play GTA when it was fun and when everyone used to have a good time. Even now, like, I'm pretty sure they took off the thing where you have to be a certain level to buy vehicles. They took that off, which is, I think is stupid. Like, back, we all had to grind to get stuff. Like, I remember even a rooftop rumble. You wouldn't unlock it until, like, level 75. So, like, back then, like, you actually had to grind. Nowadays, you can literally just play it whenever, which kind of sucks. So there's no real grinding anymore. Um, even vehicles, I remember the day I unlocked the Luxor so it'll spawn at the airport for me. That was a great day. Now, a level one will go to the airport, they'll see any plane they want, they'll see a Buzzard, Cargo Bob, all that kind of crap. And I think that's what just makes GTA so much worse because a lot of people before had to do so much stuff to get further in this game and that's what made it fun. Now, that's all gone and literally anyone who gets on this game will literally just go and have exactly what you had back then. Um, but instead, you had to work for it, and they don't have to at all, which I don't think is fair at all, and that's one another reason why I thought GTA was much better back then compared to how it is now. Uh, I know you guys probably think I'm rambling on about a bunch of stuff, but I just wanted to make this video, and I wanted to hear what you guys thought about it, um, just because like there's so much that they could have done, and so many things that they did wrong that I don't think they should have done in this game, and honestly, um, I think they just ruined the game. It's pretty much dead now. Um, like, think... Not many people play this game anymore. Fortnite's in. I still think that's dying, dying too. i got to talk about that in another video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And um, hope, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be up over the Christmas season. So have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.